Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I wanted to do this video, first of all, to publicly apologize to Israel Decoy and to anybody else that I may have offended um, when uh, when I sent Zaren Isaac the package and and he, uh, one of the, uh, and, you know, with one of the DVDs that I sent him. Um, I, I do realize that a lot of us have bad days. Um, you know, me in particular, my mom in particular, you know, we're, we would have had, I, I could tell you stories, basically, how many bad days we would have. You know, you know, there are several times that my mom, you know, uh, would come home from work and she'd be so frustrated and tired because she had such a bad day at work that the littlest thing, you know, could, that could be off in the house, the littlest thing out of place could could set her off and all of a sudden since I'm the only one in the house I'd be the main target of you know whatever aggression or whatever you know just anger she had built up inside of her she would just let it loose right at me and you know later on she would come out and apologize for for taking it out on me but yeah we all have those kind of bad days where we just because of the environment, because of the job and stuff that we have, we can't really let loose. We can't really just say what we want to feel. We, we want to, we just want to, you know, get all this anger and stuff built up inside of us that, you know, we want to say something right then and there, but because of the rules of our job, of and everything, of our job and the environment that our job is in, we can't do that. We have to hold it in until we get home and and then try to let it loose somehow and sometimes you know we let it loose on the wrong person and I totally understand Israel uh, Iggy that you know you, you had a rough day and I do do accept the fact that you know when you saw the video and it, that it kind of felt hypocritical and I and honestly like I told you and I'm gonna tell anybody else here I didn't mean anything mean by that. I didn't mean anything hypocritical. I didn't mean anything mean. I didn't mean anything harmful or anything. It's just, you know, I wanted to share something with Zaren Dizerak because I didn't know if he had seen it yet or not, and apparently he had. So, again, I do publicly apologize for that, Israel, and to anybody else that may have watched that. So I do apologize. Furthermore, I want to explain something as well. See, when when I download certain movies and stuff, either if it's either or not that movie is somehow uploaded to YouTube or Daily Motion or whatever, or I get it through a torrent. And it's a movie that is very, you know, even though it's an anime, a.k.a. a cartoon, but it's for adults only, and it's very mature in what its presentation is, even though I might find it intriguing and want to watch it, I basically got to keep it out of the eyes and the sight of my mom. And the same goes for packages as well. You see, you see, my mom, if she, if she knew that I had my copy of The Legend of the Demon Womb, or if she knew I had Sexy Magical Girl, or Demon Hunter Rem, if she knew I had some of the MPV videos, uh, the Mud, uh, was the Mud Puddle vi Visual Videos DVDs, either through buying them or downloading them, I would never hear the end of it. And you see, that's the tricky part about living with people sometimes. The fact that you got to hide certain things from them because you don't know what the reaction is going to be. And Israel, like I've told you, and I'll say it again in front of the world, had you sent me the package with the set, with the D&D &D set, um, when my mom wasn't 
off, and I think she was off that day. Well, she was off that day. If you would have sent me the D&D &D set on a day she was working, then there's no doubt I would have probably kept the set. I probably would have. Um, but you see, the, you see, I don't, I, you see, this is what's always confused me. It's like, it's like certain adaptions of things are okay, but the original source of it is not. See that, that that's always kind of got me. It's like, I, I, it's like I've said, it's like I told you, and I'll tell anybody else. I've played the intro on YouTube many times for the cartoon. And nothing's come of it. So, I, I couldn't really say why. Why people still feel that way. But then again, I can understand from a spiritual standpoint as to why they don't want to take a chance with any kind of remnants of that franchise, you know, anywhere near the vicinity. I get that. And, honestly, Israel and, any, and anybody else watching, uh, I do regret having to get rid of it because, yeah, I was kind of iffy and all that, but I was still willing to keep it. And I, I really don't know what it is, honestly. I, I don't really know what, what the situation was. I don't know, you know, what the problem is with just the animated adaption. I don't really know. Heck, I saw a Nostalgia Critics review of a live-action movie version of this franchise, and nothing happened. So, but again, I can understand from a very spiritual standpoint why people don't want to take chances. I, I really do. And sometimes it's not just from a spiritual standpoint, it's just from what they hear. But again, Israel, I'm not trying to be hypocritical, I'm not trying to, you know, be any of that. You know, it's mainly the fact that when you live with somebody... And I know anybody watching this knows this knows this to be true. You got to be careful about what you get. You really do. I mean, I mean, honestly. I have some of the, uh, what, what are they called, the Anaconda comics in this drawer, or one of these drawers, and no one says anything. They really don't. You see, I even have, and I know my mom's seen it, but she hasn't said anything. I have this. And true, she said something when I got... Uh, number 9, MK9, a couple years ago. But still, she's gotten over it. And I think the reason being is due to the fact that she realizes nothing really is wrong with that adaption. And honestly, I prayed over the game when I got MK10. I prayed over it. So, again, I just think it's just certain... and I, I just think what it is, it's certain things... I, I mean, I don't really know, I don't really know what the problem was or anything, but to be honest, if I was still living on my own in Kansas, Israel, and you sent me that, I would have kept it. I would have. There, there, there is no doubt. I mean, I have freaking Blood Rain 3 on DVD. What does that tell you? Again, I, it's all about kind of being careful about what you do. I mean, I have several MLP FIM figures, mostly rarity ones, and along with a Candace and a Twilight and a Celestria. Does my mom know? No, she doesn't. Will she probably know? Probably down the line, yes. And you see, that's another problem, too. Even if I would have kept the DVD set, she has a way of finding things. Like I said, she has this strong spiritual sense. So, and that's something that, you know, depending on who you live with, whether it's spiritual or just intuition, mothers or parents or grandparents or whatever, they'll know. They'll find things out. No matter whether your intentions are good or not, 
whether or not you bought it with your own money or not, they'll find out. They will. And like I said, Israel, to, cor to correct something, I'm not the one that threw it in the trash. She did. She's the one that had me put it in the trash. She's the one that dumped it in the garbage. So, again, I'm not trying to be hypocritical or anything. It's all about basically being careful about what, about basically how you send the package, when you send it, or how you get something, you know, or basically how you obtain something that may not be appropriate or anything like that, and how you keep it out of the eyes of people. So, with that said, Israel Decoy, I do apologize again publicly. I didn't mean any harm. I didn't mean anything hypocritical. I understand you had a rough day. We all have those days. And quite honestly, to end it on a try to end it on a lighthearted note, I've joked around with this about my mom. I've said that if we ever have these kind of days, what we need to do is get one of those little punching bags, little punching toys, and just put whatever's frustrating us on a piece of paper, tape it to the punching bag or the punching toy, and just punch the heck out of it. Get our aggressions out that way. So, again, I publicly apologize, Israel. I didn't mean any harm. So, you take care. If anybody wants to comment and help out in this area, let me know comment below, but again, I do publicly apologize. Take care, Israel Decoy, and take care, everybody that's helped support this channel and everything. I'll talk to you later. God bless. I'm out.